And it's in part because I expanded tax credits that save an average of $800 per person per year, reducing health care premiums for millions of working families who have coverage under the Affordable Care Act. These enhancements expire next year, though. And I'm calling on Congress to make the expanded health care tax credits permanent. And Trump. Trump and his MAGA Republican friends want to cut the Affordable Care Act out completely. You know how many times they've tried to introduce, they've introduced bills over the last three years to do that? 51 times. 51 times! He wants to replace the Affordable Care Act. He can't let that happen. Look, he calls, he wants to replace it with his, I love his, I love this guy. I'm trying to be a very good fellow. <laughs> I'm not letting my Irish get the best of me. But my predecessor, the distinguished former president, <laughs> he wants to replace the Affordable Care Act with what he calls, that's what he refers to, a concept of a plan. I've heard that concept of a plan now for almost eight years. A concept of a plan. What the hell is a concept of a He has no concept of anything. No plan. If we don't elect Kamala and he gets elected, Trump can kick up to 45 million people off their health insurance. 45 million. Over 100 million people could lose health care coverage because they have a pre-existing condition. The only reason they can get it is because of the Affordable Care Act. Trump and MAGA Republicans want to eliminate the Inflation Reduction Act, which we're talking about, the big bill, which made all these savings possible, raising prescription drug prices again for millions of Americans. They're stated. They're not — and he — this guy means what he says. Means what he says. Look, during the last administration, my predecessor exploded the national debt. More than any previous president in a single term, this guy raised the national debt by $2 trillion because of the tax cut to overwhelmingly benefit the very wealthy and the biggest corporations. Now he's saying, if elected, remember what he said now, if elected, he wants another $5 trillion tax cut for the very wealthy. Uh, for, that's the tax cut he wants. He won't just get rid of the Department of Education, which he wants to do, and the Affordable Care Act. He'll get Social Security and Medicare, which he says he wants to do. Hurt hardworking people. I got a better idea. Let's protect Social Security and Medicare. And finally start making the very wealthy pay their fair share to keep these programs <laughs> open. I mean it. <laughs> 